Hello again, everyone. I'm Tegan Berry, and last time on XCOM UFO Defense, we took a ton of losses. It was ridiculous. It was the worst mission in all of XCOM history. It was bad when I lost a captain. I face palmed. It was worse when I lost a second captain. I face palmed again. And when I lost a third captain. I went right past face palming, right past the face palm, straight into a full impression of Curly from the Three Stooges. Which, for those of you who are not in the know, what's wrong with you? And also, you should go watch those Stooges. And uh, it entails slapping your face repeatedly. It's it's a face palm combo, is what it is. It's you know, it's you can look at the previous episode. It was. It was kind of funny, but also, in a, it was kind of funny in a sad and shameful way. But, uh, it happens, we're picking up the pieces. I only had three people left on my Sky Ranger 1, and almost everyone who is talented is wounded, so that's why I'm taking everyone who is talented with me, and I am also taking you because you're weak, and you because you're not particularly strong, and, and you because you're a coward. Uh, because I want my weak, I want the weak, oh wait, no, small S's are not weak. Uh, they're just, they're actually slightly strong, so, uh, oops, not you, small s. Uh, people who do not have an s like you, TFB. Although, people that are good shooting, I kinda wanna survive. Just pick people, okay, we gotta get on with our lives, you and you, okay, done. Alright, um, flying suit for you, Crystal Hafner, cause you're towards the top of the list, which means you're probably gonna have the good rank and stuff taken these weapons everything's fine as far as armaments concerned although I guess we actually have a lot of ammunition so I might consider upping that amount depending on what I'm going to engage in the next mission but for now this this works as a setup okay uh, um, also we are really really low on flying suits so let's take a look I actually have 30 engineers available that are unallocated. Why is this the case? Because I just bought some more engineers? Or did I forget? How long have those eyes been unallocated? Well, they're allocated now. Hopefully it won't be... Hopefully I'll have some time before I have my next engagement. It's the 30th of the month. And you know what the 30th of the month means? The, it, the, the Earth is due for an inspection. We need to inspect the Earth to make sure that there are no bases anywhere hiding out there uh, just to make sure because at the end of the month is when we get the old um, we, the, we get the review from the council and uh, that's when places can go over to the alien side so oh hello hello all right we've got a base alien base six there uh the day is almost over actually we need to we need to take out that base right now holy crap all right uh so you're refueling how much longer will you be refueling there sky ranger okay let's let's i hope we can get there before the next day because if the day changes the council will not be go go sky ranger go sky ranger go Get there! Oh, good. That's actually really close to my base. That's is that's really convenient. This is really convenient. Go, Sky Ranger! All right. Holy crap! Alien Base Six. Here we go. This is unexpected to say the least. All right. So Astra does not deserve a rocket launcher. All right. Here we go. I did not decide to take the rocket launcher. Renee Luggett, can you see anyone? You're a captain without a set of flying armor, but well, we have a lot of grenadier coward. You get up, you get up into safety, and usually going up is a safe command, so I don't have to worry too much about using it. Danielle, see anything? Okay, get back because. As far as I know, in order for someone to be reacted upon, to have a reaction attack happen to them, they need to be seen moving. So, you need, the opponent needs to see you when you're through with the movement you make. So, if the movement you make gets you completely out of the sight of your opponent, then you should be safe, theoretically. However, 
I say theoretically because I really don't know for sure. So I could be surprised at some points and just get scrooched. And that would be mildly unpleasant to say the least. And to say more than that, it would be sad and excruciatingly painful. More than mildly unpleasant. It'd be very unpleasant. <laughs> It'd be sad. Uh, can I throw this down the shaft? I thought it was possible to throw things down shafts. I was, I was told that being a tosser, in fact, involved <laughs> involved a shaft. That's, <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I made a mistake about what a tosser is in a previous episode of this <laughs> of these videos. But I have been informed that to be a tosser, you have to be experienced. You have to... <laughs> the shaft is involved. That's all I'm saying. That's enough out of you. It's enough of that. <laughs> we don't... Don't make me flag the video. <laughs> please. Please don't. Even, uh, even improper flagging can get someone in trouble these days. And it's just not nice. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Renee, if you do please drop the smoke, it's easier than throwing it, and then go up. Thank you. Samuel, just stand there. You're not good at reacting, so don't even dream about it. We'll wait till the smoke is in the area. And, yeah, I guess I am going to use lots of... You're weak, actually. You're the weak one. You'll be the one moving forward out, out of all of us when someone moves forward. And I, I do want to distribute uh, these proximity grenades, so I'm going to actually... Should I be priming these ahead of time? Questionable. It's very questionable whether or not you should be priming. It's dangerous. They should be considering at all points in time the consequences of priming one of those early. Anyways, Renee is the person who is in danger of being seen after the turn end, so she could get off... Probably should get off that pad... We'll wait for the smoke, and then we'll come down. Should I be the one who comes down? I, I am good at reacting. Am I overweight? No, I, I moved, I moved. Uh, I'm gonna prime this as well, because it never hurts to have more prime smoke. Is is generally the way I feel, although there's, there's certain potential of things going wrong, so it's not 100% true, but generally it, it works for... For me, Henry, prime more smoke, done. This is a very important mission, so I'm gonna be very, very careful about this. <clears throat> and I feel like generally coming out, <clears throat> this first part, coming down the shaft, is one of the most difficult uh, parts of, of the whole procedure. So go ahead and come on down. There's some smoke. You're not good at reacting, so get around the corner. Okay, you're saving time units for a snapshot, but hopefully it won't come to that. Clarence Bryant, get down here as well. You're good at reacting. I want you to distribute this proximity grenade in this direction. Although... Hmm... Not 100% sure about that. This is the edge of the map, you say? I guess you can toss it over there, that makes things easier. And then you still have time units saved for an auto shot should you need it. Hopefully the enemy you see will be in this direction, because the proximity mine and your friend is covering the other direction. And then Renee can also do the same thing on her turn when it comes around next time, not this time. Uh, Sigourney Miller. You're good at reacting. I'm not sure if you can very well react with that thing, but uh, you're just a recruit, so I'm going to have you get down there. Although everyone is important in this scenario right now. We're fighting against a base, so we have to be careful. Should I have you get out of the smoke just so you can get in the corner? I'm not sure if that's 100% recommended. Okay, Michiko. Uh, Henry. Henry will distribute this smoke grenade. I feel like it's safer for you to do that. Just drop it on the ground, because I feel like you're less likely to be reacted upon if you do that. And then go ahead and pop back up. 
and then we'll deal with the smoke next turn. Uh, we'll actually come out next turn in the smoke. I know it makes things take longer, but I feel it's definitely worth it to be careful. Being, being careful is advantageous, I feel. It is dangerous to prime proximity mines early, but I will make sure to keep in mind that it is primed. Alright. Astra, we'll get you on this side. You're very good at reacting, however you are a colonel. That is primed, so put that back in your belt, and then... Done. You also will prime a proximity mine. And get to the edge of the shaft. Sigourney Kemp. Uh, just prime your extra smoke grenade there. So that we have everything primed. Although, maybe I shouldn't have all my people gathered around the edge of the shaft like that. An explosion could take a lot of us out. Um, I don't think it's very likely. They don't know we're here yet. The aliens aren't going to fire an alien rocket launcher at me yet until... They don't, they don't fire alien rocket launchers at you until you actually have given your location away, so... I shouldn't be too worried about that just yet, I don't think. But it is something to be concerned about. Okay, I, I'm getting myself out here. And I'm going to put this back in my belt. I'm good at reacting, and I should be able to cover this direction should it be needed. Hopefully I don't get scrooched in the side. Actually, is it? should I be facing that way? Uh, I'm second-guessing myself, but it is more likely that an alien will come from this direction, so... Yeah, we're doing that. Hopefully I don't get scrooched in the side, but there is a proximity grenade over there covering me. Uh, Samuel, I guess you might as well come on down to and <clears throat> help cover this side of the thingy because approximately mine isn't over there although your reactions are pretty bad I think you can still do it maybe it's uh, taking a chance okay here we go smoke hidden movement am I dead I am not dead okay good always always expecting at least my character to die if no one else does. If nobody else dies, my character is pretty... is pretty much faded. Okay. Uh, Grigory, you are the character that I actually care about the least, so I'm going to have you move forward. I know that you don't like the sound of that. I'm sure you're not happy to hear that, but... And Samuel, uh, you also are not a particularly spectacular well actually you're a good shooter you are actually quite a good shooter so uh, maybe maybe in my mind's changed about you slightly but still uh, not the most amazing character so let's have you move up a bit I do understand how proximity grenades work so I can actually skirt this proximity grenade without getting exploded <laughs> I definitely don't want to be sploded. Being sploded is bad. No one likes to be sploded. Oh, hello there. But maybe, actually, maybe this guy likes to be sploded. Who knows? Let's ask him with bullets. <laughs> maybe, I think he likes to be plasmed. Then again, then again, maybe I'm not the best shots. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't be the one asking him that question. Maybe... Maybe somebody else would like to ask the question. I... Hmm. I could shoot and get away, though. Uh, should I crouch? No, I should shoot and get away. Let's do this. Shoot! Uh, so much for whatever that was, and take that wall, and yes, they're well done. Well done. Okay, I'm, I'm getting out of the way now. Yeah, I could, I could, I could watch the wall and make sure that no aliens come from the wall that I need to snapshot. But I'm going to pass on that one. Sigourney, would you like to be a real knockout and deliver this guy a knockout punch? Or would you like to knock your friend out here? No? Okay, well, these weapons are not very effective, I must admit. It's, I haven't had the greatest track record of knocking anyone out, really. It's, I don't even know why the aliens make these weapons. 
it's a real mystery. Why, 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 why did you even make it? Jesus! You almost shot your friend! Okay, let's, uh, let's get out of the way there. Renee! We do have an alien in that direction. We could toss a proximity grenade in his general direction. That would be an interesting choice. I'm just going to have you get in the corner, actually. That sounds like a good idea for now. Uh, should you continue holding on to this? I'm going to say so, because your reactions are terrible anyway, so no point in having you do anything else. Crystal Hafner, come on down. Although, you shouldn't have been the first person to come down, actually, because you're a colonel. But that's alright. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm going to have someone else come down. Uh, Yataka, come on down and check this direction. Your reactions are pretty bad, so I'm not going to have you hang out and react to things. Specifically, I'm just going to have you sit in the corner. I'm not going to have you go back upstairs, though. That's... I will have you hang out. But I'm not intending for you to react to anything, so... This hallway does look like it m will get pretty popular, so... Uh, go ahead and chuck... I'm having, gonna have you walk one notch down here, and I'm gonna have you chuck this down there, and then get back up. Because I feel like that four-way could be a pretty popular, popular location for opponents to traverse through. <clears throat> And then the other direction that aliens are most likely to come from would be this direction, I would say. So I'm going to have Michiko... Hmm, excuse me. <clears throat> Got a little bit of something in my throat. Or a little bit of <laughs> irritation. Alright. And also, there's... Uh, <clears throat> There's a, a um, centipede in my room that <laughs> was distracting me slightly. But anyways, that's fine. I'll deal with him later. I don't know how he's getting in, but that's alright. Let's focus. I think I will have Henry come down and make sure that this direction is safe for whoever wants to throw a proximity mine in this direction. Let's say Danielle here. So now that you're being watched, Danielle will throw this proximity mine. I'm gonna say here. No, you can't here. Okay, about here. That'll work. That I was I was trying to throw there, but uh, you told me you couldn't do that. So you're apparently a liar. Uh, phys physics has proven you to be a liar. <laughs> so there. Uh, physics. It likes to prove people liars. That's that's physics for you. All right. In any case, uh, Michiko will throw a proximity mine in this direction, so that we are kind of safe on both sides. Okay. It was kind of risky throwing that close to your friend because it could have bumped into your friend. I should always consider the fact that you can misfire and bump into things that you would not expect. And then you'd have a live grenade, like, right next to you, <laughs> which would be, which would be quite, uh, quite embarrassing. So, anyways, Sigourney Kemp, come on down. Or not. That's right, there's someone right underneath you. Uh, and I don't want to gather too many people in one area, so actually, maybe not. Are you all really high-ranking people over here? Yeah, so it would have to be a captain to come down. You're all recruits. Uh, you've got reactions. If an alien came from this direction, it could get bad, but there's just three recruits. I'm just going to leave the three recruits down there rather than um, moving more people into danger. Uh, it's always a decision. Do you, do you throw more people into one area to provide overwatch, or do you worry about area attacks and take a roll of the dice. I'm going to worry about area attacks. Okay, so that was a flying liver monster, or whatever those things are called. And that was the guy we saw earlier. But we did not shoot him. I wonder who saw him. 
who saw him? Was it... Was it you? Well, anyways, we definitely know that there are aliens in that direction. In a big way. So... We should, we should throw some artillery in that direction. That would be a good idea. And I think I know what kind of artillery I might want to throw in that direction. First, Sigourney Miller will take a look. Or who should take a look? Maybe... Maybe Grigory. Grigory, take a look and make sure that things are safe for someone to throw. Okay. I think you would see things if there were things to see, so... Maybe I should have set the timer. It would be safer to set the timer, actually set the timer for longer than one turn. Uh, instead of zero, set it to one. But then it would take longer to affect things, so... Uh, you know, I'd have to be patient. Anyways... Uh, if something goes wrong, Grigory has enough time to move out of the way. If I go down here, I still will have enough time to throw, but not much time to move. Uh, okay, so I've got this primed. Uh, mm, it's just, you, you can't move very far, and then you can throw. Uh, yeah, I've got this primed, but I'm actually going to stay in the corner, really. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I don't have enough, I don't really feel like I have enough time to get out there fully and take advantage of this just yet, so, um, what we're gonna do is Grigory is going to move out just a little bit further, you can't see anyone, okay, go back, get back around, hopefully none of the aliens, uh, see us and have the blaster launchers that they can use to destroy us. Uh, Sigourney Miller, you've got good reactions, uh, but I would not like you to have to take advantage of them just yet. Samuel, maybe you will see something when you step out here. No? Okay, that is a good thing, really. Uh, Renee, maybe... Yeah, I think it would be useful for you to throw that proximity grenade in the general direction of the aliens. Not a bad idea. I don't think the aliens are going to come all the way over here towards us. I'm taking a gamble on that, but even if they do, they'll have to go through this proximity grenade that I'm about to deploy. Alright, let us deploy it as far as we can, or as close as we can, to where they were. Where we saw them last. Hopefully, Renee, you will not actually see one of them as you do this. I'm going to have you move just one step closer. Okay. Now throw it. Well done! I wonder if I could have done that just a bit further, but get away! Can you get away? Good, you're around the corner. Alright, well done! I know it's just a proximity mine, and they don't do the most damage, but they are awfully convenient to use. I guess since I do have one person in this area with an active uh, explosive pack, that another one couldn't really muck up the situation too much worse. It's a weird theory, but I'm going to set the timer to 1, actually. This is a weird thing I'm doing. I'm actually setting the timer. So this one has an extra turn. Clarence Bryant, his timer is set to 1. So if he goes down, we will have one turn to do something about it. Or... Um, one turn to panic and run away. Or destroy it, or throw it again, or whatever, whatever we plan to do. Your reactions could be worse. It's not its not the worst I've seen, but it's pretty bad. But uh, I don't want you to move up any further, so just stay there, my friend. And then Yataka will... will come around the corner, make sure it's safe. Then move down here. We're going to move down here and move this direction, because this is the direction in which I do not have a proximity mine. Daniel will in this direction safe, so you'll do the same thing. We're just going to completely focus on this direction, because we can, well, except for you, Henry, you can you can have reactions focused on that direction. Uh, Sigourney Kemp, you're a captain without powered armor, whereas you are a captain with powered armor, Michiko, so you go first. You definitely go first, and you can also go down here. It's just, everyone's going this direction, although we could potentially walk around that mine. Not happening. Crystal Hafner. Uh, you've been with the organization for a long time. Which of the colonels do I not care as much about? 
I guess between you two, your firing accuracy is 60, your firing accuracy is 81. Yeah, I guess Crystal Hafner is not as valuable to me as Astra is, so... Okay, Crystal Hafner, you go down, and Sigourney Kemp is definitely going down, so... Uh, Sigourney Kemp, get down here. Be ready to react to things if you need to. Astra will stay up here with the commander, and Crystal Hafner will come down here. And I guess you can watch this direction. But hopefully you won't have to react, because you aren't incredible at reacting. But again, your reactions could be worse. Okay, everyone else is done. That's turn four. Definitely taking my time. But I'm worried about my chances of victory a bit. Even though we're just fighting Muton men, which is actually uh, refreshing, I must say. Alright. Time to throw my explosive pack, and potentially Cl Clarence's explosive pack as well. So... Maybe I shouldn't have activated Clarence's explosive pack here. Uh, I'm gonna move up. And... I thought... Oh, maybe I was seeing the aliens over there. Hmm, that could be the case. Move up a bit further. Okay, well, if I saw the alien down there and confused it for here... That definitely would be the case, because the mine is not there. Then, uh, well don't really have anything to throw at right now. Which is, uh, that kind of takes the wind out of my sails, I must admit. I don't want to be standing out here with an explosive pack, though. H having an active explosive pack is... Having an active bomb is not good, uh, so I'm gonna get rid of this in this general direction if I can. If I can... And I don't want to destroy this proximity mine, but if it ends up doing that... Hmm, well, that's just not working out for me. Uh, should I hide behind that thing? Those things have a tendency to explode, so that's... I'm gonna hide around this corner. Okay, but I don't have enough time units... I have enough time units to throw... the explosive. Maybe I should do just that. Although, then I'll just be stuck out here. Mm, okay, well, that was just a bad tactical decision. Alright, well, Clarence, just watch me from around the corner. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't explode. And Samuel, you're the one seeing the aliens. So, that being the case, I'm disappointed that you haven't reacted to anyone. Uh, go ahead and step forward and see if you see anyone else. And, uh, that being the case, that you're not seeing anyone else right at the moment, I would like you to hide over here, and there is a proximity mine over there. You're more likely to be snuck up on from this direction. And, uh, yeah, I want to take, I want to take the reactions out of the equation, because you're not very good at doing that, so eventually the aliens will see you and scrooge you, and you won't do anything about it, which will be sad. Renee, I guess you could try to throw something in that direction. Like this alien grenade. Uh, yeah, why don't you walk around here and move up into this niche. Wait with a snapshot prepared. So, Gorney Miller, I don't know if you can react with that weapon. And, uh, Grigory. Um, why don't you come up on this side? I know you're not good at reacting, so... Yeah, just hang out like that. Hopefully it won't be an issue. Although if I go down, then Gregory, Gregory will go down with me. Uh, I should have thought about that. Hmm. Well, that just will be the case. Okay, fine. Henry's watching this direction. Sigourney Kemp. Daniel, let's move up. Check things out. Okay, that's clear. Scorny Kemp can move up. Be ready to react to anything that comes around the corner. Very good. Michiko will follow suit. With a suit. Alright. 
Yeah, Taka is good at shooting, not really good at reacting. That's okay. Ostra will stay with the commander, and Crystal Hafner will, again, just check this direction, and uh, then, uh, yeah, follow, follow the rest of uh, the squad. Follow the squad. And Henry will be the rear, the rear guard. Of course, by rear guard, I meant looking backwards, and you can't do that if you run out of time units. So just don't get shot in the butt, is what I mean. <laughs> Crystal Hafner can watch. Okay, done. Hidden movement. Ooh, we got something with the, uh, with the proximity grenade, so that's cool. All right, and since that exploded, I know something is over there, so that's a reason to throw my 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 explosive over there, potentially. All right, I don't see anything right now. Uh, Grigory, can you see anything? No. Okay, I'm gonna move up. Okay, I'm a little bit worried that I'd see something around the corner that would instantly just scrooge me. I drop the bomb, and then the bomb just goes off, kills all my friends. Could happen. Okay, so. Can't see there, can't throw there. Can I throw here? Can I throw there? I'm not really, uh, in really, really happy about the thought of moving forward. I don't really want to move forward from here. So I'm just gonna throw it as close, or as far as I can. Okay, good enough. Hopefully that'll do damage to somebody, and if not, well, oh well, I tried. It at least gets an active explosives off my hand, active explosive off my hands, and that's that's good enough for now. All right, Clarence, you are just good at reacting, but it's hard for you to react when you've got an active explosive in your hands. So maybe you should get rid of that. Uh, yeah, Grigory, why don't you do a little bit more scouting? Oh, wait, 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 oh, hello there, I, I turned too soon, and we gotta shoot this guy, we gotta shoot this guy, auto shoots, go ahead and crouch, fire away, can you get him, good, hooray for Grigory, you have saved your own life, an explosion will happen in that direction that hopefully won't kill you, aliens hopefully won't come from that direction and kill you, and then you can continue to have a great career, Samuel, why don't you peek down this corridor and see if any aliens, any aliens are in that direction. Okay, good peeking. Now just come back. And now Renee can feel safe about priming this and walking up and seeing how far she can throw down this crack. Are you, maybe it's actually not a good idea to throw down a crack when you can't really... Yeah, I'm gonna just stay back here and think about throwing down cracks some other time. <laughs> Sigourney, I want you to know what are you doing. That's not the pathing I thought about in my head. I really have to think about what pathing people are going to take before I, uh, before I click. All right, Sigourney Kemp, just, just crouch here. I'm afraid of of the four-way, so Michiko is going to peek down the four-way and then come back a bit, and then Yataka. Well, well, well. Okay, I, I guess I could have crossed last turn, but I'm, I'm going to gather up some of my people and then we're going to move across. I'm being too, a bit too defensive here, perhaps. Certainly. Well, no, I didn't want to move my captain across. Yeah, so. Uh, Yataka, you move up, and we'll get this other recruits up here, and then you will be the rear guard, and done, done. Crystal, look that way. Clarence, hmm, what should Clarence do? Still uncertain about Clarence, if he should move up and throw this explosive somewhere else, if you really should have primed this, this at all. Uh, yeah, I'm hiding in the corner. I have enough to shoot with a snap. I'm gonna be looking that way. Yeah, just Clarence. Even if you get shot, it won't explode immediately. Although, if you get shot, we'll have a guessing game between. We'll just have to pick up both explosives. 
Alright, yeah, just crouch there. Just crouch there. You can still react. Your accuracy's not as good. That exploded. Didn't kill anything. That's fine. Hidden movements. Very good. Okay, Clarence. I think I want you to get rid of that explosive. But it is a little bit complicated for you to do that. Throw it as far as you can go. As far as you can throw. Without making yourself the thing that blows. That's... I guess I need to get a better angle. Alright, and just throw it straight to the end of the hallway. Yes. There we go, and then you've got seven movement to get away. That's really not enough, enough movement to get away. That's... That's an issue. Fortunately, there's another turn before the explosive goes off, so... You're definitely not going to kill yourself. However, the aliens might come out and kill you, and that would be... Inconvenient, to say the least. I think, uh, should I prime this and throw it out there? No, I don't think I will. I'll just provide overwatch for my friend over here. Hopefully they'll react and shoot my friend and not me. Boy, I really don't know. And Gregory will continue to explore in this direction. Okay. Hopefully you don't get attacked because you don't really have enough time to react. Samuel can peek down this hallway again. Nothing. Okay, and then Renee will lug a grenade down this crack. We'll see how that attack works. The crack attack. No? Can you not throw down the crack very easily? It does look complicated to throw down this. Yeah, I, I was not expecting much, but it was, it was kind of, I guess, a learning experience. Okay, no. 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 Alright, well, I hope I don't get seen being on this side. Renee. I'm kind of leaving you in an awkward position. In fact, no, I should not leave you in an awkward position. I should evacuate Renee entirely from that area. And now, Yataka will sneak over to the other side. And... Not seeing anyone over here. Saving time for a snappy. Scorny will provide Overwatch. And Michiko is going to come up and play it safe because she's not good at reacting. Henry is going to watch this hallway partially, although I'm not sure if standing around a corner like that is actually effective. Or if I'm just making myself partially visible without being able to react or not. It's a little bit... I'm, yeah, I'm a little bit uncertain about that. And then, and Danielle. Move up here. Just hide. Uh, I guess you can come around this corner and just watch this direction, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, keep... 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 Keep your friend here safe. You can provide some extra reactions, I was hoping, but actually I kind of screwed that up there, didn't I? Alright, well, hopefully I haven't... Oh, I, I got someone! Nice! Okay, good. Oh boy, okay. Nice! Alright, I was actually... Ooh, oh boy! Whoa! Wow, okay, was that a blaster? Was that a blaster that just hit the ceiling? Did they just miss... I think they just missed with a blaster, because that's... Just messed up the terrain a bit. That's that was scary. That was scary. Although it hit in an area that didn't have too many of my allies, or was that just uh was that one of the other things? I'm I'm not certain, but in any case, I'm okay. I lucked out. Very good. I'll take it. Samuel, Samuel, get up there and see if you can see who fired that monstrosity. No, you can't. All right. Well, that's fine. Uh, just. Yeah, just move up here, and then Renee will move down this complex series of turns and throw a grenade over. What? That's not good at all. Hopefully it won't channel down this passage very much. It might. Oh gosh, dang it. Okay, Samuel, run. Run, Samuel. This is, this is, this is my worst fear. 
a, a explosive being thrown in the wrong way and causing severe problems for everyone involved. All right, Grigory, uh, come down this side. We'll see if we can see something over here. You're not particularly good at reacting. That's right, you did see someone through that window, so... Actually, don't be too aggressive in that direction. Instead, hmm, I don't think standing at that window is good for you either. Uh, there was a blaster just fired at you recently in this direction. Yeah, just, just get around here and just stand there. Clarence, I want you to cover your friend by walking over here. Because you can react very well. And then Sigourney will just uh, ask, act as an escort on this side. If you can capture someone, you can do that. Maybe, possibly. Uh, yeah, Taka will go up the grav shaft, which is a little bit scary, but apparently it's safe, so mission accomplished. Well done. Sigourney Gemp. Gonna move up on this side and be prepared to react to anything that comes around. Okay, no reaction necessary. Rump of alien steadily available to shoot. However, I am not sure what the alien holds in his hands, so um, I could shoot him and he could react. What is my accuracy level if I? it would take me 20 time units? 23% accuracy... Actually, go ahead. Go ahead. You nailed him. It's good that you nailed him, because uh, otherwise he would have scrooged you with his heavy plasma. But I was thinking I could use... I could move Michiko up as well. But uh, that's not necessary. Michiko, protect your friend with your suit. And Danielle, watch this direction as well. From that side. So you're less exposed. But still further forward so that if an alien comes over from that side you'll get shot at first as you are a recruit after all but not it, it the position works uh, is what I'm trying to say anyways uh, Crystal Hafner just bringing up the rear that's fine and Astra will stay up here in case things just really go down badly when things go down then you can come out and save us an alien grenade will be going off in that direction. I'm going to sit here and just crouch, even though a blaster launcher did pass by here recently. Okay, that did not kill my friends, which is good. It was scary. I got to be careful with... What did go off there? What? Oh. Did the... Did the... Did the, the, did the bomb go off? Did your explosive go off? What just happened? I thought prime grenades only went off when it was... Um. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. That was interesting. That went off. That went off in my hands, not on the ground. Is that is that how it works? I thought it was only uh, when explosives are on the ground that things went off. That's that is very interesting. I must admit. Hmm. It looked like that explosion was centered directly around my soldier, and... Ugh, crap. Okay, well. That's weird. That is rather odd. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Not happy about that one, but it's a learning experience, so what can you do? Alright, well, I'm dead again. <laughs> Oy. Oh well. Can't let that affect my tactics for the rest of this battle. I just lost my character again, though. <laughs> it's a shame. Uh, it's okay. Anyone I name myself is fated to die. 
I just I thought I knew the rules. That's all. I thought I knew the rules that having a primed explosive in your hands made it not go off. It did not go off when it's in your hands. It goes off whenever it's on the ground. So that's how I thought it worked, but apparently not. The explosive went off in my hands, and it killed my other friend too, which is which is just great. But at least we just incapacitated an alien. That's something. But yeah, I just lost two. I just lost two people. Ugh. Just for my own, for my own weaponry. It sucked. It sucked pretty bad. Okay, well, Sigourney, you can get yourself a new weapon after this round. Turn nine. There's that weird liver thing. An explosive went off. There's a muton man. All right, Renee, go get that muton man you saw just a moment ago. There he is, gun him down. That will work. All right. Just hide around the corner. Hopefully you don't see anything new. Scorny Miller, pick up my plasma cannon, or your friend's plasma cannon, and do your best to do something with it. Go ahead and drop this, and see if you can see that floating liver that flew by. No? Well, just... Oh, there it, there it is. Okay, I was just gonna, just I was gonna say just be ready to react to it, but why react when you can kill it this very turn? Okay, well, I mean it looks like things are actually looking up now, but uh, learning things by getting yourself killed again is very disappointing, to say the least. I thought. I thought that I knew how explosives worked, and it is emphatically not the case. Hmm. Is it? Is it just like grenades? Is it only the case for grenades, or is it that things don't explode at zero, or is it, is it because I set the timer for one? Is it because I used a timer did it explode on that turn? I I don't know what to make of what happened there, but. I guess I gotta be more careful with explosives, that's the main thing. Uh, hmm. A little bit confused. Oh well, Gregory, move up. At least everything's going our way still. In turn, hidden movement. Hello there. Oh boy, okay, well at least it was the unconscious weapon. This uh, Gorney Miller is... did not uh, react. I expected her to react. Hello there, you're going to pay for what you did, and pay you have. Were, was that the alien that just did that? Because it could have been a different one, actually. Uh, Michiko, let's look around. Look around you, make sure that there's no aliens over here and over there. Alright, just try to react. If anything happens, Crystal Hafner will watch your back. And then Henry will move up on this side. Sigourney Kemp, go ahead and move up along this side. See if there's anything to react to. Danielle will take a peek, and since you're not good at reacting, you'll come back. And not much of a point in you saving time for reactions, because you suck at that. Uh, Clarence. You didn't see anything through this window, so I guess just move along. Hopefully no one will see you through the window either. Okay, good. Uh, although, actually, you should... Oh, that's right. I want Actually, I do want you to move in this direction so that you can see enemies in that direction. Uh, enemies where... That's where I last saw the enemies. Yeah, the command center. Let's go to the com command center and clear that area out. You're done. You're done. Uh, you're saving time units. Is that really wise? I guess so. Alright. Uh, Yataka. Yeah, move up this direction as well. Alright, done. Movement is hidden, except for that guy. What, what? Who, who was seeing that guy? Uh, you, you were, you were seeing that guy. Astra, okay. Astra, come down and deal with that guy if you wouldn't mind. Hello? Are you still out there? Alright, no? Okay, fine. Oh, hello there! Okay, you were... <laughs> Hi. Die. Goodbye. 
Well, you didn't have time. You didn't say could have, could have been a lot worse. Okay, thank you. Well done. Michiko, let's explore a little bit. Okay, there's a floating liver thing. I'm gonna smash that. Zap, zap. Nice. Okay, and then run away, because this area is relatively unexplored, so an alien could come at us. Crystal Hafner will back you up, just in case something... Pathing! I swear I clicked up here, didn't I? Didn't I click up here? Closer to this... I really thought... I really thought that they would not choose that direction for pathing, but... I'm glad this armor is good. Clarence Bryant. We are not seeing anything around here, which is good. All right. Gregory. Just gonna... Don't get too close to your friend there. Uh, Henry, coming up on this side. We know, pretty sure, that most of the enemies are either in the command center or on that side, but we're running out of enemies. I'm pretty sure that we're pretty close to winning this, actually, so I'm feeling a lot better despite the fact that I killed two of my own people, including myself, with a uh, errant explosive. Uh, it's actually, this, this mission's actually going really well. So let's not screw it up. Okay, okay, so. An explosive. My proximity mines aren't killing anyone, but they're telling me where my opponents are, and that is extremely useful information. So, Crystal, Hafner, you're a colonel. Uh, Michiko, you're the one who will, yes, take that alien out to dinner and a movie and, and death. Most importantly, can you, would you please? Oh, it was the blaster launcher. Good, good. That makes me feel a lot better knowing he's dead. All right, Crystal Hafner. Uh, yeah, go ahead and search around, cover your friend here. Okay, good. Saving time for a snapshot. Little bit scary, but you can cover your friends. You can cover you. Um, mm, actually, Crystal Hafner. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just, I want you to move back because uh, I don't want you. Mm. Maybe should you be standing there? Mm. Uh, actually, I'm gonna have Astra come out because other people are the, the. Well, yeah, the proximity mines are gone. Your friends are threatened. You've got good reactions, so just yeah, cover each other. Renee, uh, seeing anything? No, good. Okay. Uh, mm, uh, saving time units for a snapshot when looking that direction is wrong. It is completely and totally wrong. And stop it. Daniel, just come around here. Okay, Sigourney, come along now. And Clarence. Oop, it's weird that you can't move that direction. Oh, because you can't walk across those things. Okay, that, that's making some sense now. Okay, just, yeah, you're good at reacting, so just keep looking through that window. Just keep watching that window with your awesome reactions. I am fine with this. Alright, so, Grigory, you can continue to follow your friend. Yes, Sigourney Kemp. Uh, although, actually, maybe you shouldn't be standing next to that window like that. Oh, everyone's done? Alright. Movement is hidden, and it is done. Alright. Move up, Clarence Bryant. Move up, Renee Lugit. But you're a captain, so I don't want you making that assault on that command center just yet. Uh, Gregory, come on along. Taka, come on in. Okay. Alright, now. Astra, just go ahead and explore over here just a little bit. Is this like one of those shaft entrances? This is one of those shaft entrances. Uh, get on this side of the shaft, and so, ooh, ooh, okay, uh, mm, I used up too many of your, your movement. That does make me feel bad, but just crouch over there, and Michiko will, uh, follow up. Uh, okay, so your snapshot saving time for... Okay, Sigourney Kemp, come along. Henry, follow suit. Daniel... Here is done. Crystal Hafner, 
If aliens are in any direction, they could be hiding in this direction, so come up around here and just keep watch so that your friend doesn't get scrooched. And we're done. Hidden movement is... Okay, it is over there. It was, you know, it was, it was going to say it's either in the command center over or over there, and it's over there. Okay, Crystal Hafner, uh, out of all my colonels, you're the one I care about the least, so yeah, go ahead and see if you can uh, move up on a muton man. A little bit scary, but he's got a blaster launcher, so good. Glad he's dead. All right. That's it. That's it. All right. So, nothing up around there. Astra, I really care about you more than Michiko, so Michiko, come on up. Look around you. Make sure that there's an alien not ready to suck your brain out from behind. Because, as you can see by that glass case, they are definitely the brain-sucking types, but... All right, you're clear of that. Astra, um... Astra, stand. would you stand up, please? Good. Come around the corner. Make sure that your friend doesn't get scrooched in the back. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Actually, could you just stop uh, facing your vulnerable parts to the world? Thank you for that. All right. <laughs> this is probably not a good idea to have your uh, most vulnerable bits exposed to the world like that. And um, you're not good at reacting. And you're not good at reacting, but you are good at reacting, Clarence. So actually, you should be the one standing up against this. But actually, I'm planning for all of you to move in next turn, so I guess you can all get up against that. As awkward as it is, and Sigourney will come in. I feel a little bit bad about risking my captains, however... Uh, captains just aren't as good as they used to be in the old days. But I have a lot of rookies, so... They are definitely the people to risk first. Alright, and turn, hidden movements. It's probably up in the command center. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna move in on this turn. Gregory, come on in. You don't see anything? Alright, well, continue to move up to that shaft. Alright, well, just uh, be a shaft looker, if you don't mind. And then, Renee, you can kind of do the same thing. Although, actually, back up a bit more, because I want to save you for life, for living. Living is for you. All right, and Clarence, you're good at reacting, so yeah, you definitely want to stand there and be a shaft looker. All right, Sigourney Kemp, moving on up. Um, starting to make me think that the aliens... Oh, okay, I was going to say, it's starting to make me think that the aliens are in another direction. And there you are. Oh, you were the dude I knocked out earlier, right? I'm sorry, I forgot to uh, either kill or capture you. My bad. Okay, well, mm, so much for capturing a Muton Man leader at some point in this game. Okay, so, Michiko, would you like to make sure that there are no muton men in this direction? Thank you. And then perhaps Astra can back you up, watch in that direction, and uh, Crystal Hafner can watch this direction. So make sure that you don't get snuck up on from behind. And I actually want to make progress down this hallway, so I'm going to stand there. And Henry can move up along here. You can just watch this area yeah that's fine done okay we're all done movement is hidden and hidden it remains so there is still one enemy left Gregory would you like to go up the shaft and get scrooged nope not up here okay that is actually a little bit surprising so I think I know where the alien is somewhere over here Michiko I will let you do the honors are you in here hello could be could be could be up the shaft I'm gonna I'm gonna get out there because it's not very likely that the alien's gonna come down the shaft and come all the way down the hallway in one turn, but you barely have enough to snap. So that is kind of... You barely... You barely can snap uh, and and just freak out and cause problems. Okay. <laughs> like snapping isn't losing it. Alright, so... Yataka. We must find the last alien. Where is the last alien? I am wondering where the last alien is now. I still should be using my recruits because I don't want to lose my best people when losing for looking for the last alien. It would be a shame to get people killed by the last alien. Where is the last alien? Oh, it could be up the shaft there. It could be up. It could be up that shaft. That's a possibility. This is a distinct possibility. Or it definitely could be up there. Alright. 
Uh, Astra, maybe you should be looking... Maybe you should be standing right here. Yeah! Except for you could shoot your friend in the back, so maybe that's good. Maybe you should be in the middle, but that's fine. Alright then. Um, Gregory, the alien could be behind that thing. It's possible. Why don't you just look around this room just a little bit more? Okay, just making sure. Done! Hidden movements? Hidden movement will not tell me where the alien is. Danielle, go where people haven't been recently. Oh, if the alien's up here, he'll just get to scrooge me without me counterattacking. This is a very awkward storeroom. But in a storeroom, it indeed is. Actually, maybe you should have stayed up in the awkward storeroom. Because it's actually safer there, despite the fact that it seems significantly less safe with all the dead human parts and other parts. Sigourney Kemp, watch your friend's back. Right there. Yataka. Okay. Crystal Hafner... Around here, maybe? Nope. Okay, I guess, I guess it's up there. Michiko, up the shaft we go. Well, actually, maybe not this turn. One, one more turn on the shaft. Just, just watch that shaft closely. Astra will also watch the shaft. Hopefully no aliens will come around here and shoot us in the back while we're shaft watching. Should we both watch the shaft from up close? I guess so. Uh, Clarence, go ahead and follow up. You can just sit. I don't. Uh, it's taking forever to move all you guys. Okay, done. Hidden movement. Good. No one got shot. All right, Crystal Hafner, moving you up. No one around this corner. Okay. Makes me feel safer about that. Michiko, I'm guessing the alien is actually up here. Okay, somewhere. I think the alien is up here somewhere. Alien? I'm, I'm coming in this room. I'm looking around this room. This room has awkward things in it. Okay. I'm starting to really wonder here where that last alien is. Is there a last alien? Where are you, last alien? I would like to know where the last alien is. This is this isn't like Oh, I actually lost three people in that explosion. Okay, well joy. Joy. I forgot about that. Okay, well. Very much a shame that explosion was. Anyways, let's not think about that. Let's think about finding the last damn alien. Where are you? Where are you, last alien? Uh, Astra, hey, go ahead and move up the shaft. Um, if the alien comes out one of the doors, if the alien comes out that door, you could potentially flank Astra, but these two doors would be safe, so... I like my odds, kind of. Maybe I should just stay down the shaft, actually. Maybe I should just stay down the shaft. Although, uh, if, I, if I do that, make that move, I might find my opponent quicker. Is it worth the risk? Is it worth it to risk your life to find your opponent more quickly? I'm gonna say no, actually. Get back down the shaft, uh, shaft act, Astra. And uh, since you kind of screwed that up, get away. Now you won't be able to react at all. But and the turn. Okay, everyone, everything's fine. Everything's just fine for now. The alien is probably not in this room, Michiko. So let's go to the next room. I haven't heard any doors open for a while. Hmm, not in there either. Truly, this is a mystery. Uh, Grenadier, just to make sure that no one sneaks up on you, get in the corner yourself. Clarence, just uh, look out this window. It's just a nice window. I, sheesh, I just don't know where to look. Renee, just look here. Um, Henry, come on over on this side. And this is where we had the proximity grenades, so I don't think it's very likely that the alien's hanging out over here, but he could be. Not very likely. Hmm. I do not know where last alien is hiding. Last alien hiding is where I do not know. Just focus on those last two doors. Did we ever go up that grab shaft? No, we did not. Let us check over there. That is an area with potential. 
Yes. Yes. Let's go over there. Alright. Next turn. Hidden. Oh, there we go. Alright. The game's afoot. You and me, alien. Let's do this. Alright, well. Uh. I'll, I'll just I'll just wait even though I don't want you to have the advantage so mm, well yeah okay I, I just I, I'm hopefully I won't see you on your turn unless miss reactions you can do it maybe not enough energy Renee wants someone to help out yeah Clarence just in case things go poorly let's move up our other people you, you, and we won't worry about other people's turns because I think we're fine. Well, actually, yeah, search, search these remaining storerooms. Okay, clear, and clear. Alrighty, Rue, good for you. And Renee's gonna come on out now. All right, done. Enter. We did not see the alien. Let's see if we can find him on this turn. Let's move up. Hello. I know you're around here somewhere. You're not inside, so you must be out there. You must be down there. Okay, but I'm not good at reacting, so I shouldn't have left myself out there like that. Uh, Sigourney, can you actually make that shot? Well, if you can, please react. And if not, actually be careful because that those things explode. Maybe maybe taking cover behind that is not the best idea. Hmm, I'm actually starting to question my tactics against this final alien here. Renee, back us up, please. Uh, yeah, everyone, just kind of if you can if you can get up here, I would pref I would prefer backup for this last opponent. Um, Henry, don't even save time. It's Crystal. Yeah, go ahead and move that direction as well. Okay. Done. Done, done. 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 Alright, please don't die, recruits. Well done. That was very, very quick hidden movement. Okay. See if you can sneak up on your opponent. Hmm. Walk out like that, yeah. And then. It's kind of awkward having to walk like that so you can walk diagonally like this, but you caught him in the butt. Go ahead and scrooge him. Alright, and then we'll be done. All right, hooray, we're done. Success, right? Yay! Alien base destroyed. We lost two of our operatives. Oh, good, one actually survived. He was just knocked out. We killed 13 aliens, 12 corpses. I got killed again, but that's fine. Two power sources, alien entertainment, alloys. Excellent mission. And sadly, I learned a lesson about how explosives work. I guess, I guess I won't use that timer option very much unless I throw the explosive immediately, because I thought I could hold on to the explosive, but apparently not, so... Anyways, um, I'm gonna save it as... Base 6. Base 6 destroyed. And I'm dead. Base 6 destroyed. Alright, thank you very much for watching this episode of XCOM UFO Defense. If you liked it, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Good night.